Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and now I'm coming to you with the next in my Sudoku problem series. This one has been rated as hard by testers. So, um, yeah, if you struggle a little with this one, that's okay. Um, so there'll be a link to the problem below where you can give it a shot, um, and you can... Um, pause the video, uh, I'll explain the rules. So, um, of course, the goal on this one is to place the digit on the um, beige X. There are four or three rules in play on this one. There is a Renban line, which must contain a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order. There is a green Whisper line, which must uh, adjacent cells on the line must have a difference of at least five. Um, and then there's crop key pairs. It's the black dot must contain um, digits that are in, a, or the cells separated by a black dot have digits in a one to two ratio, or one is double the other. And the cells separated by a white dot must be consecutive. So with that, it is possible to, to, to determine the X. Um, yeah, as I said, testing, we have called this one quite hard. Um, hopefully you can figure this one out. Feel free to pause the video and I will be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, so yeah, it, it this one is a little bit tricky to explain, but uh, we'll see how we go. So. The thing to think about in this one is the biggest restriction we have is on the whisper line, which is um, on a whisper line, you can never place a five um, because a five on a whisper line, which must have a difference of at least five between adjacent cells, the next digit would be zero or 10, which doesn't work. We also know on a whisper line that it must alternate polarity. And by that, we mean it must contain a low digit, one to four, and then the next digit will be high, six to nine, because of the, of the five difference. So we know that this will go from one polarity to the next polarity, and then back to the first polarity. It'll always keep alternating that polarity. So now what we want to think about, because we know the five can't be on the whisper line, is does the five have to be on the Ren band line? Now, if the five isn't on the Renban line, then this will all have to be from the same polarity because without the five on the line, it will all be from either one to four or from six to nine because you're making a run of consecutive digits. Without the five, it must either be all below five or all above five because that's the only way of doing it without including the five. And because we've already got two of one of them, we don't know which, but we've got two yellows, which is from a run of four digits. If we're at picking three digits from a set of four, we can't pick yellow. This has to be blue. And now we've got blue and yellow consecutive with each other, but blue is one to four and yellow is six to nine or the other way around. So they can't be consecutive with each other. So this is broken. So if five is down here, this is instantly broken. So five must be on the Renban line. Now, you can't put five on a black dot because half of five is two and a half and double is 10. That doesn't work. So five is in one of these two cells. So the question we now need to ask ourselves is which one? Well, the most restricted is probably the consecutive dot. Can five go on the consecutive dot? Well, I'm actually going to put the digits in to explain it, but you can do this in your head. If you put five on the consecutive dot, consecutive with the five is four or six. Four or six on a whisper line is almost as constrained as five. The next digit that can go along from a four is a nine, which can't be put on a black dot, but we'll get to that in a second. And the next digit along from a six is a one. They're the only digits that are five away from four or six. You can't put nine on a, wisp, on a, on a black dot, there's no half or double. Um, so this has to be a one. And the only thing that is in one to two relationship with one is two. Now we've got two and five on a Renban line. And this cell would have to simultaneously be three or four and four to make this a set of consecutive digits. And we can't do that. So we can't put five here without breaking this chain of dots. It just doesn't work. So the only place left for us to put five is on the X. A little bit tricky to see. It is doable in your head, but you know this is a, a hard problem. You're supposed to have to sort of figure out the way the clues interact. Hopefully you were able to figure your way through that one. Um, even if you had to sort of plug in some digits to figure it out, that's okay. Um, some of the hard ones are, are gonna require a little bit of thinking um, and possibly a little bit of testing. That's okay. I have no problem with that. Others may consider it a problem. I don't. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that one and were able to figure out how those interactions played off each other. Um, 
yeah, I, I really like this problem. It was one of the first ones submitted, but I wanted to make sure people had a little bit more experience with uh, thinking about how the problems work before I drop this one on them. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for um, watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.